Hello, hello, welcome everyone. Guess what's here? This is Creative Haven Garden Gnomes, the newest gnome book out by Teresa Goodridge. So I am super excited for this one. I actually haven't even done any kind of peek or flip through. Um, it just came. Here's my Amazon envelope. I haven't watched anybody's flip through, mostly because I've been sick. So <laughs> it's going to be a surprise to me as we go as well. Um, there's a couple of her other books there. I thought they were all going to be gnome books, and then I realized those aren't. So never mind on that front. And we will get started. So already we're off with some bright, pretty colors over here with the gnome paint and the flowers. Very cute. Get a little centered here. Hopefully that little sunshine doesn't bother anybody too much. I'm sure most of you have seen the flip through of this, but I like to go ahead and get a flip up anyway. So if anyone asks me later, I have one ready to go. So of course, copyright 2024. Take a break from the mundane and enter the mystical, magical, miniature world of gnomes. This one seems printed really dark, unless it was just because my last one was about out of ink when they sent it to me. Maybe I'll sit like that and block the sunshine. We are getting closer to being back to my old setup, by the way, so I appreciate everyone's patience and not being totally rude in the comments, because I know, I know, <laughs> we're getting there. Oh, be happy. This is adorable. This will definitely be on my to-do list. I love a good B page. So again, if you're new to Teresa's books, bordered edges, perforated pages, um, a little bit thicker paper than Amazon, single-sided. Um, the paper does have a little bit of tooth to it, so I prefer that. I don't know if everybody does or if I'm an odd duck out, but that little smile on that kite. I wonder how she comes up with all these little hats. I think after a while I would be out of ideas for hats on gnomes. Because uh, this is her third gnome book. She did a Christmas. And then our gnome, sweet gnome, and then this one. I think she's done this. Cute little gnome picnic. Sorry for the voices outside. If you can hear them, they are the lawn guys getting ready to check out our sprinklers and all that good stuff. She's cute. Garden center sale. He's hiding in the flower seeds. Oh, the price is zero. <laughs> I would be all over it. Bring them all home. Pumpkin. So we got our fall page. Look at the little mushroom house there. Another nice fall page. Just some pumpkins and some mushrooms. Looks like it's going to be a variety of seasons, which is nice. I'm going to pause for just a moment. Okay, sorry about that. I just wanted to pause so they could finish talking because I don't want to feel like I was talking over them. <laughs> so this one is probably my favorite so far. This is The Sweet Taste of Summer. I'm going to guess this one will probably be a color long at some point in the future. Um, Gnome Sweet Gnome does have a watermelon page in it too, so try not to do too many watermelons, but I, we'll see. Look at all the little designs on those hats again. <laughs> little apple tree, cute. 
kind of like an all season. We had a winter gnome here. Strawberry, she could be strawberry shortcake colors. Better gnomes and gardens. <laughs> Mushroom houses in the background again. Very cute. Nice touch. Apples. We need another apple tutorial. We found a page. There's that one we've seen covered, colored on the cover. in the wishing well. That one's super cute. I like the rainbow. This would be a good page to color in April. April showers bring May flowers. You are participating in the color along you will hear that a lot this month because <laughs> uh, that is getting ready to go up as well and i do believe that is what i'm going to name it He looks like he has a quilted hat. Oh, apple cider, sweet treats. Be a good Thanksgiving page. We might be stress free zone. Oh, they're in the hot tub. I'm jealous. Chocolates. radio going, the lawnmower going, cute little butterfly hat, very cute, we found the color of the vegetables on this one, gnome, sweet gnome, anybody gnomed out yet? <laughs> I know they were everywhere for a minute, not just Teresa, but gnome party. And a nice big sunflower peach. And then there he is with his Better Gnome and Gardens book. And there we have it. So there is our 31 whimsical outdoor gnome scenes. So Garden Gnomes by Teresa Goodridge. There is our flip through. So excited it is here. Questions, comments, requests, anything like that, please let me know. Um, I hope to see you next video. Thanks for watching.